Welcome back with another update on La Palma. As soon as I finished recording another video, this popped up. Um, so, let's get right to it. Um, Canary, so, La Palma Volcano, Canary Islands erupts, spectacular lava fountains from several vents and lava flows. The Tenegua Volcano family uh, finally erupt. Well, erupted after eight days of intense seismic crisis this afternoon at 3.15 p.m. local time. At least two eruptive fissures opened in the area of the Montaña Rajada Mountains, located in the municipality of El Paso, and erupted and started to erupt spectacular lava fountains from at least seven individual vents. Um, particularly in the beginning of the eruption, the opening of the vents was accompanied by strong explosions generating dense ash plumes from the ground open as a ground open to give way to the lava shooting out of the from underneath. The area of the eruptive fissure is an unpopulated forested mountain zone, which is good that it's unpopulated. And some forest fighters, fires were ignited, but quickly controlled. There are no reports of damages. People are advised to avoid the area. Prior to the eruption, about 50 people with reduced mobility had already been evacuated from nearby areas, and more evacuations are now in progress. This marks the first volcanic eruption on the island since 1971. The volcano has been quiet until 2017 when earthquake swarms started to appear from time to time. So, okay. So that means this thing was starting to wake up in 2017 and just now erupted. Okay. Signs of magma slowly accumulating in its deeper reservoirs. The last before the recent crisis was in December of last year. So far, the eruption is relatively small, and the lava flows were reported to advance rather slowly, but it is possible that it might intensify. In an article on El Pace, Nieves Rosa Aurora Diaz, the island chief of security and emergencies, is, quote, The lava is coming down slowly, but we are worried about, about the, speed up it, the speed it could pick up. There's an outbreak of fire, but it is being controlled. Spanish Prime Minister um, Pedro Sanchez changed his original plan to fly to New York on Sunday and is expected to arrive in La Palma to address the situation with local authorities and the defense ministry. It is likely that an explosive zone will be set up in, around the eruption site. The eruption today did not come entirely as a surprise in teens Intense earthquake activity with more than five small tremors detected in a few days have preceded it since September 11th, as well as significant ground deformation with up to 15 centimeters uplift on September 13th. The volcano's alert status was raised to yellow because these phenomena could be seen as sign that magma has been accumulating at shallow depth. The yellow alert affected the municipalities of Buen Caliente, Los Llanos, Llanos de Erdan, Erdan, El Paso, and Villa de Mazo, with around 35,000 people affected in total, according to El Pais. A lull in activity during last Thursday to Friday was only to replace, be replaced by renewed seismic activity that accelerated today. Still, it is probably not expected to go so fast from then on. Four hours before the eruption, it culminated in a 3.8 magnitude quake at 11.16 a.m. local time, which in hindsight is likely to have been the main event that opened a crack or dike towards the surface in the hours before the eruption. And no one cares, Sarah Palin. Um, Volcanic tremor has been continuous and increasing as magma started to move until finally breaching the ground. So, with that, link will be in the description box below. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.